We're taking tostadas to the next level with a spicy tomato-based sauce that y'all, this can be our little secret. It's actually so easy to make. Hey there, fellow Evolvers. I'm London Brazil, and you are watching Evolving Table, where we make good food that's also good for you. And today we're whipping up some chicken tinga tostadas. And there's my dog. She's just jingling her collar like she always does. Can you make it through all the tripods? <laughs> With a healthier baked tostada shell, loads of shredded chicken, and the perfect assortment of toppings that will add a delightful crunch. So if you're ready to get to cooking, then come on in y'all and let's get started. You'll first wanna set your oven to 375 degrees. While that's preheating, let's go ahead and get started making that super simple homemade tinga sauce. It's spicy, it's tangy, and it's going to give our tostadas so much flavor. You'll first want to finely dice half of a sweet or white medium-sized onion. Place a medium-sized saucepan or skillet over medium heat. Add two tablespoons of olive or avocado oil along with a diced onion. Saute for three to four minutes or until the onion begins to turn translucent. Add two garlic cloves and continue sauteing for another minute. Once that begins to caramelize, add the sauteed onions and garlic to a large Nutribullet cup or to the bowl of a food processor. And make sure you have plenty of room to add in the other ingredients. Next, add one to two chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. And don't forget to scoop out some of that delicious sauce. Use one pepper if you like a milder sauce, and two peppers for a medium heat sauce. One cup of diced tomatoes, fire roasted are preferred. Half a teaspoon of dried oregano, half a teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of paprika, and half a teaspoon of salt to taste. Blend for 20 to 30 seconds, or until all of the ingredients are completely smooth. Pour the sauce back into the saucepan and bring it to a boil. Reduce the heat to medium low and simmer for 10 minutes, stirring occasionally. While our sauce is simmering, let's start shredding up that chicken. You can either use a rotisserie chicken that you buy from your grocery store, or you can bake up some chicken breast in the oven or in your Instant Pot. If you're using a rotisserie chicken, just know it's much easier to shred warm chicken than chicken that has been chilled. So as soon as you get it home from the grocery store, go ahead and shred it up and then save it for later. Once you have three cups of chicken shredded, add it to the saucepan and mix until it is completely coated in the sauce. We'll keep this at a low heat while we prepare our other ingredients. Next, we'll be baking up those homemade tostada shells. You can also purchase these at your grocery store but it's actually really simple and even a little bit healthier to cook them at home. So to do this, you'll first wanna grab a small bowl and add one and a half tablespoons of oil, either olive or avocado oil will both work great. Coconut oil is also a great option, but just make sure you melt it before using. One teaspoon of freshly squeezed lime juice, and one fourth teaspoon of salt. Stir until well combined. Place six corn tortillas on a large baking sheet. Make sure all of the tortillas are evenly spaced and do not overlap. Using a pastry brush, brush one teaspoon of the mixture over the front and back of the tortillas. If you're using a lighter colored baking sheet, You'll want to bake the tortillas in the preheated 375 degree oven for 12 to 14 minutes. 
If you're using a darker colored sheet, the tostadas may cook up more quickly and be ready in as little as 9 to 11 minutes. In either case, make sure you flip the tostadas halfway through cooking. Once the tostadas are crispy, remove them from the oven and start layering them up. You can really let your imagination soar here and use whatever combination of ingredients you happen to have on hand. Today we'll be using some refried beans, lettuce, tomatoes, avocado, radishes, and a bit of cotilla cheese. First, spread 1 fourth cup of refried black or pinto beans over the surface of the tostada. And then, layer with half a cup of the shredded chicken and tinga sauce. 1 fourth cup of finely shredded iceberg lettuce, 2 to 3 avocado slices, 2 tablespoons of diced tomatoes, 2 to 3 slices of radish, and 1 tablespoon of crumbled cotilla cheese. Repeat with the remaining tostada shells and the remaining ingredients. Oh, yeah! Mm, 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 mm. Oh my goodness, these are so good. They're so crunchy, loaded with flavor from that homemade tinga sauce. And if you want a few more Mexican-inspired dishes, make sure you check out these other easy homemade recipes. Thanks so much for hanging out. I'll see you in the next one. I just spit all over the place.